Today we're going to check out some accessory options from Honda for the new CL500 and CL250 Scrambler motorcycles that were just announced. Yeah, no CL300 Scrambler model released yet, but keep your eyes open for that to possibly happen very soon. And if you missed my last video where 16 new motorcycles were unveiled, make sure to check it out after this one so you're in the loop. But first we'll start off with some of the accessories that have been officially released and then get to some of the more cool prototype goodies that Honda is working on releasing soon a little later. First up for the new CL Scrambler motorcycles from Honda are your storage options. As let's face it, you have no real storage on this bike to start with, but that shouldn't be much of a surprise as most don't these days. Which leads us to your first option, a trunk from Honda that has 38 liters of capacity. Thankfully, Honda tries to dress these up a little bit instead of it just being a big plastic box slapped on the back of your bike with them throwing an aluminum panel on the top and you can key these to your bike's ignition key so you're not fumbling around with a bunch of keys every time you want to find out what's in the Box. And you've also got the option of throwing a backrest pad on there too, so your passenger is a little more comfy. Plus, you've also got an optional inner bag for the trunk to keep things from sliding around too much, and it has a shoulder strap to make toting it around a little easier too. But before you can mount a trunk or anything else in the back, you'll need Honda's luggage rack or rear carrier, as they call it, and that opens up the possibility of mounting other things back there, and that rear carrier is what your mounting bracket for the trunk bolts down to. Followed up by a set of saddlebags, Bags? Well, not really a set as you can only mount one saddlebag on these. Yeah just one. And why is that? Well, that scrambler styling has led the exhaust up the side now, and it's in the way of being able to mount a bag there. So Honda created a saddlebag stay that mounts over on the left side of the bike, and now you have the option of either a 14 liter bag or a 10 liter setup, and these have quick release attachments so you can pop them on and off quickly. Then we've got a set of heated grips from Honda that are the same diameter as the factory grips, with a simple button setup to help you flip through their five levels of heating for those cold rides. And then we've got a tank pad sporting the Honda logo, obviously, to help keep those fine scratches away and an adjustable brake lever too. Now call me crazy, but it's 2023, adjustable brake and clutch lever should be a standard feature these days instead of an accessory, but what do you guys think? Now let's get into some of the prototype Honda CL500 and CL250 accessories that haven't been officially released yet. First up are the handguards, and yeah, I don't see these as being a very functional item as I doubt many are going to be taking these off-road, but from a styling perspective, which is what most people are after when modifying their bike, it definitely gives you an easy starting point to really change how this bike looks from stock, which ties in with the accessory high mount front fender, so it's more like a dirt bike than a street bike, followed up by a headlight shroud, which I actually think looks pretty good and takes away some of that copy and paste job feel from where this bike started out with the Rebel and gives it a little more flavor, so to say. Then if you don't want to run one of those saddlebags we covered earlier, you've got a rear side cover as they call it, in the shape of a number plate. Now I'd like to see it from some more angles, but so far, I'm kind of liking it. And up next, if the stock pleated seat isn't your style, you've got a flat seat option as well. And that's all of the accessories that Honda has released so far. What do you guys think? Is there anything in particular you hope Honda or an aftermarket company makes for the new CL Scrambler? Let me know what you guys think and let's talk about it all down in the comments section. But on that note, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.